Good afternoon. Good morning, everyone. It's about 11.45. And in... Good morning, everyone. It's about 11.45. Well, everyone, good morning and welcome to the Old Curiosity Shop. In exactly 15 minutes at 12 noon, I'm going to be listening to one of the greatest organs on the face of the earth. That's right. No, I'm not in Philly today. I'm in Atlantic City. I came down here to meet a friend of mine at a great big antique store, but you have to stop at Boardwalk Hall and hear the organ when you're in town. Now, I'm excited because uh, one of the large divisions on the left side, I think maybe the choir division, came online last October. I might have that wrong, and I haven't heard it yet. So remember, when you hear the concert today, the organ is still only about maybe 50 or 60 percent uh, playable. They're still restoring it, and it's going to take quite a few years, but it is a magnificent instrument here at Boardwalk Hall in Atlantic City. So I'll stop with the blah, 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 and let's go to the concert. Now that's a familiar sight. I didn't grow up going to Atlantic City. My family, being an old United Methodist family, we always went to Ocean City, uh, just to the south. Ocean City, New Jersey, that is. And um, But there was a peanut store there, and I do remember this Mr. Peanut would stand out there in that costume and hand out peanuts. I know you've all seen the little dishes in the antique stores. Boy, how about that red jar? I'd love to have that. I'm waiting in the lobby here for the uh, for us to be taken up to the organ concert. So I thought I'd show you some of the things that they have on display. Now over here is a great big organ console. Let's go and take a look at that. But first, what is this costume over here? Let's see, look at those shoes. It says, Roaring Twenties. The 1920s were a high time in Atlantic City with alcohol flowing during Prohibition, uh, illegal gambling and roaring nightlife. A tuxedo and a flapper dress, circa 19... 25. And of course, uh, the town of Ocean City, founded by Methodists, is was dry in those days, and it is dry today. Yep. So, if you wanted to have uh, a libation, you had to sneak up here to Atlantic City, which is just a few miles to the north. Look at this massive console over here. I wonder what it is. Well, let me zoom in on it and I'll let you read. Uh, it says, Atlantic City Convention Hall, built 1929 to 1932. Emerson Richards, yeah, he was a senator, a state senator, uh, who designed the, or the organ. Midmer Losh, uh, that's who built it. Okay, so this console, well, it doesn't tell us. I think it, it is, no, it says somewhere around here. Uh, let me see if I can find, uh, I wonder if this was the one that was in, oh, wait a minute here. No, that's not it. Well, I'll see if I can figure out what does it say over here? Uh, it says Lois Miller convention hall organist from 1945 to 1969 at the seven manual console circa 1954. Well, look at her. And this is a famous photograph of the massive size of the pipes. Look at these men. And then all the way up here, a man is sitting right there on the top of one of the pipes. And these are all in the uh, pipe chambers uh, inside of the Boardwalk Hall Convention Center here. And let's see, this says Working Life in Resort City. 
Atlantic City was built by the hard work of its multicultural population, lured to the city by the promise of employment. Staff at the Apex Hair Company, circa 1935. Let's back up and look at who was working at the Apex Hair Company in 1935. Look at that. That is the coolest thing. And there's more of them down here. Uh, the folks at the Apex Hair Company. Wow, look at their outfits, the dresses and suits and everything. And the seafood restaurant, the, on, the only bar and restaurant in the state of New Jersey over the ocean. <laughs> look at that the little uh, outfit that the servers wore. I still didn't see anything that told me what this console was. Uh, seems to me there used to be a sign here. Well, maybe when they come out to take us upstairs, they'll tell us about that. Watch what I'm doing before I trip and fall down this escalator. <laughs> Ooh. This is it. I think this building was completed in like maybe 1932. And here we are. Wow. Look at this place. I've been here before. And I've brought you here before as well. What a beautiful place. Mm, mm, mm. I know they're going to talk about the organ, but I'll enlarge, and that's an organ chamber right there, and there's another one there, and then there are some uh, in the ceiling. Uh, there's one there. I'm trying not to make you dizzy. The actual console is way down there. I don't know. be able to see that and then there are uh, let's see there are additional pipes behind that grill work there so there have been political conventions here Miss America pageants football games rock concerts um, this building has quite a history and look at that curtain with the great big sort of Spanish galleon ship. Oh, I think the lady's gonna talk. So I'll let you see this before we begin. Uh, these concerts are held every day, every Wednesday and they're free. But if you come to Atlantic City, check their website because there are occasional uh, outages is not the word I'm looking for. Sometimes they have events and they uh, have to cancel the uh, concert. And you can you can uh, go online and donate money. Oh, here's the uh, noon recital. Let's see what we're going to hear today. Uh, ooh. Okay, that's it. I'll let you see it. Those are. The, I'm probably not going to film the entire thing. At least I don't think I'm going to film the entire thing, but we'll see. That's what you can't see way down front. 